Hey Derek, since choice people, G1, G2 lovers, Starscream lovers. Hey, I'm just gonna do a quick transformation of this dude, G2 Starscream. Um, beautiful, beautiful toy. Um, I've just recently sold this. Um, I'm gonna try and do a thing where every time I have a transformer through my hand, I'll transform it and do a little video just for a laugh, take me back to my childhood and show you guys if you don't know how to transform them or, I don't know, have a laugh, why not? So this one had instructions, it was completely, 100% uh, complete, came with everything. Now I'm not gonna attempt fate and stuff around with these um, these back fins. Those posts are so bloody, particularly G1s, but those posts are so fragile that I'm just gonna leave them out of this little demonstration just for the fact that I didn't own this. I actually just recently sold this uh, yesterday, so here he is. Um, comes with a Sonic backpack. That's pretty much, I believe, the only difference from a G1. I've just taken his batteries out and put them elsewhere, so I'm not gonna test him on the video, I'm sorry. It does work. Um, so yeah, it's essentially a recolor of a G1 Starscream. Gorgeous color scheme, that white and I don't know what you call that pinkish. It's beautiful. Anyway, this dude's complete, so obviously his um, rocket launchers have been substituted for a much cooler version. I'll just pop them out for the now and I'll take out the um, elusive landing gear. So, um, surely most of you people that are out there, especially Transformers fans, you have to transform the G1 Starscream. If you haven't, I'll venture, and you're a star, and you're a Transformers fan, I'll venture to say you have not lived. Um, anyway, so you, I turn these things over, pop his arms out, and I tell you what, I had G1 Starscream as a child, and this whole um, thing about his head popping through the chest and spinning around was just a marvel to me. And it still does spin me out how they could have engineered that. So obviously you break the tip of the cone, and then you pop in through his chest cavity, and voila, his face is pointing and looking at you. Now that absolutely blew me away as a child. Um, and quite, quite obviously now when I look back, it still blows me away how far ahead of its time it was, how sick that was, man, I'd like be able to do that. Anyway, um, Starscream was obviously a cult favorite, fan favorite, obviously his toes point down, his wings point up, so he looks pretty cool in sort of robot mode, so that's him essentially without his fist. Um, sorry, I'd spin a bit of, spin a bit of yarn while I do, do this kind of thing, pop his fist on. Um, such a cult following Starscream from the cartoon, cool character always, Number two, always doubting Megatron and whatnot, and always giving him grief. Um, TV show, the movie, obviously he popped it. There goes that rocket in real time. That launches work very well. I'm gonna go get that one before my um, one of my pets find it. Let's see it out the corner of my eye there. Good thing it came with three missiles. So um, yeah, these are these are cool launches. I, I just recorded this in. Um, Time lapse a couple of minutes ago, and one of those launches took off as well. I don't know how that's going to look. That should be interesting. So, with the launches, he's a pretty mad looking dude. Um, really cool, but sick character. How can you not like Starscream? G1, G2, whatever. Anyway, this guy's sold. He's on his way to Michael Kenny today, Express Post. I'll get into you safely, as you know. These transformation videos are a bit of a laugh for me. I enjoy it. Hopefully, you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, don't watch it. If you do, subscribe. I'm going to keep doing these. Um, along with unboxing videos, informational videos. Um, I've got a pretty nice Star Wars find coming up. Oh, slightly off topic, but there's gonna be a bit of an interview. Um, I'm gonna try and do a live interview. A really cool um, Star Wars find coming up. But um, yeah, help promote that so you'll know about it. But yeah, G2 Starscream, beautiful colors. Just a beautiful recolor, really. Um, out of the new missile launcher, the Sonic backpack. So cool. Um, I don't collect G2s, I would maybe have made an exception, but I'm not going to. If I go down the G2 rabbit hole, it's never going to end. I've only got a handful of G1s and um, a couple of Beast Wars. I kind of probably want to keep it that way, otherwise it will never end. However, I will be resetting up my toy cabinet soon, so who knows. G2 Starscream coming your way, Mr. Kearney. That's it, hopefully how you pronounce it. Please subscribe my channel, like my, like my thing. Comment here if you like this video, don't like it. Don't like the Sonics. Hey man, they got me into basketball, so I thought I'd um, put a bit of a shout to Sean Kemp today. Thanks guys. Um, like I said, join my Facebook group, BBT Sales. Subscribe my channel right here. And um, yeah, toys keep coming. I'm going to keep playing with them. Keep watching them. Big guess. That's how